Good afternoon. Welcome to the laboratory. Uh, what I'm doing now is I'm developing a pulse motor driver based on the Arduino. Uh, let's see, that's the power cord, which is for an external battery. You don't need that. It's plugged into the serial port or the USB port of my computer right now. And this is a little IR uh, photo detector transmitter pair that takes 5 volts input and produces a 5 volt pulse output when it detects a reflection of the IR uh, emitter. And look, I can see, you can see the IR emitter uh, in the camera, uh, but that's not visible to my naked eye. That's interesting. You can see that IR output right there. And then there's an IR uh, detector right next to that. So here I have some silver tape, and over here on the what I have, I've programmed the Arduino to detect the edges of the output pulse. So uh, when I move the the tape to reflect or not reflect, you can see that there's two little LEDs there. One of them flashes there and there. That's the edges of the pulse. And then every four complete pulses, which would be, or rather every, yeah, every four uh, complete reflections, which would be eight edges, I have it turn on the brighter LED. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And what I'm doing here is I'm just going one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then I have the serial monitor programmed to tell me the intervals and the state of the sensor. Right now it's on, off. So there's the dwell, which would be the total on time, and then the duty cycle based on the last off time. On, off. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so next will be uh, setting it up. Oh, oh, this could be um, this could be uh, an Allegro Microsystems 3144 Hall Effect switch, which takes five volts input and produces a five volt pulse output when it sees the presence of a magnetic pole. So it'll work exactly the same with the Hall Effect sensor uh, and the passage of a magnet pole as it does with this LED. Uh, photo sensor and the passage of a reflective bit of tape. Okay, and then next I will add uh, the output stage, which will use one of the Arduino's PWM outputs to trigger an external transistor, which will then drive the coil from a separate power supply, and the delay between a pulse detected at the sensor and the pulse output to the coil will be adjustable by a potentiometer and then also the pulse width output to the coil will be adjustable by another potentiometer and all of the uh, display all of the parameters like RPM and pulse width and things like that can be displayed either on the serial monitor or on a separate LCD screen and one could even put a touch screen on here and use the touch screen to control everything uh, without it even being connected to the computer at all. Okay, stay tuned and I'm going to put the uh, down in the description below I'll put the the program sketch um, TK Pulse Driver Beta 1 uh, for you to look at and play with to your heart's content. Thank you for watching.